In an age of mass consumption and instant gratification, the want to satisfy our every gastric desire often leaves us all oblivious to the truth surrounding the foods we eat. You might in reality just find yourself chewing on a mouthful of lies. Here are 12 things you eat that are a lie. Number 12. American Cheese The bright orange cheese slices made popular by Kraft Foods, usually found inside the Cinderella of American cooking, the cheeseburger, or a staple in the corpus of the U.S. culinary delight known as fast food. Yet, they aren't quite what they seem. According to the FDA, American cheese cannot be referred to as actual cheese or as a cheese food because, well, technically and legally, it isn't, with less than 51% of real cheese in its constituent parts. The FDA has ruled that American cheese isn't really an American cheese. That's why this item is called a cheese product. Number 11. Margarine For decades, margarine was marketed as the healthy alternative to the seemingly life-destroying devil butter. This, however, couldn't be further from the truth. Margarine can, in fact, be quite harmful to the health of its consumers. Trans fatty acids found within the composition of this product, used to increase shelf life, are a common cause of cardiovascular complications. On the other side of this feud, butter can be good for you. It contains the right kinds of fats for a healthy, balanced diet. A big marketing lie overall. Number 10. Chicken Tikka Masala Most would consider this popular dish a firm pillar of Indian cuisine, or so it's made to seem by the restaurant and takeout menus. In reality, though, this pillar doesn't stand quite as firmly as we may think, as the dish has a rather murky history. Chicken Tikka Masala is actually said to originate from Glasgow, Scotland. That's right, it's a British dish. For now anyways, so long as Scotland decides to remain a part of Great Britain. Number 9. Pringles Potato chips stacked in a tube. Well, kind of. The former parent company of this popular brand claim that the snack can't and shouldn't be considered as potato chips at all. They argue that the potato content of the chips in question reach only a meager 42%. On top of that, the potato content comes only in the form of dehydrated potato flakes, which is used in a mix to make a dough out of which the slices are cut. Not exactly potato chips in the full sense of the snack. Number 8. Naked Smoothie PepsiCo advertised this brand of smoothie as containing no added sugar, helping the drink keep up its facade as a health product. The reality is, however, that the smoothies are no better for your body than the most sugary of drinks. Although PepsiCo claimed that the sugar in these fruit drinks naturally occurs from their ingredients, meaning that the no added sugar label is accurate, the health marketing surrounding the product is plain false. The smallest naked smoothie bottle contains a similar amount of sugar as a can of Pepsi if not more. That's right on the threshold of your daily recommended sugar intake, all in one little fruit drink. Number 7. Crispy Seaweed Certain types of seaweed are used as culinary ingredients in many coastal regions around the globe. Well, perhaps this most commonly thought of in reference to forms of Asian cuisine. Crispy seaweed in particular is largely attributed to Chinese cooking. In the Western world, through sleight of hand, you'll more often than not find yourself eating cabbage disguised as this crispy edible marine plant. You see, crispy seaweed is often misold and replaced by deep-fried cabbage, leaves seasoned in a similar way. Number 6. Red Snapper An Oceano org investigation conducted in 2013 discovered that there's a U.S. nationwide problem with fraudulent seafood. The study shows that the popular red snapper fish is the most mislabeled and missold fish food product throughout the United States. Oceano reported that red snapper are often substituted by 28 entirely different species of fish, and this happens in 93% of purchases, meaning that there's a very high probability of the red snapper you're eating being a complete and utter fake. Number 5. Rocky Mountain Oysters A dish unbeknownst to many who aren't accustomed to the many reaches of good old ranch life, commonly found in regions of the USA Great Plains, in steakhouse, and in delicatessen joints around the world. One may be coaxed by the name into thinking that this dish is made up entirely of oysters gathered from the Rocky Mountain Territory. Even its appearance adds gloss to its unperceived falsity. Breaded, deep-fried oysters, or so you may think. Well wrong, Rocky Mountain oysters are made exclusively from bull, pig, or sheep testicles, deceiving to say the least. Number 4. Aquafina Another PepsiCo drink, another PepsiCo fib. The label on this brand of bottled water read across it, pure water. But according to PepsiCo, the water contained within the confines of the bottle actually comes from a public water source. And what does this mean? Well, it means that Aquafina water comes from the very source from which you and I drink our wonderfully free water from. It's nothing more than filtrated tap water. Number 3. Pumpkin Spice There's a delightful variety of spices that when mixed together, make up the seasonally popular pumpkin spice flavor. The commercial stuff we find late in over seemingly anything and everything throughout autumn and winter. A time abundant of pumpkin spice flavor products 
is disappointingly more than likely to fall short of using any real spices. Commercial pumpkin spice flavoring is often artificially made from chemical used to replicate the main flavor features of the key spices that go into real pumpkin spice, so your pumpkin spice latte could really just be a cup full of unadulterated chemicals. Number 2. Nuts Peanuts, walnuts, pecans, and almonds are referred to as nuts only in the culinary sense. In reality, they aren't nuts at all. Peanuts are in fact legumes. They are dry, edible seeds contained in multiplicity within pods that start to split when they're ripe, making them closer to peas and beans than to actual nuts. Walnuts, pecans, and almonds, on the other hand, are closer to peaches and plums. They're classified as droops, a fruit composed of a pulpy exterior that encases a hard shell containing the seed. In the case of walnuts, pecans, and almonds, the seeds are eaten instead of the pulpy exterior. In contrast, a true nut is botanically defined as a singular dry fruit encased in a hard outer coating that never splits open naturally. Some examples are chestnuts, hazelnuts, and acorns. Number 1. Bananas the bananas we find on the supermarket shelves and in our homes are the wonderfully edible results of thousands of years of genetic modification, meaning that they aren't exactly as natural as we believe them to be. Artificial selection and human vegetative cultivation, old school forms of genetic modification, have given us soft, easily edible and infertile bananas in which the inactive seeds are barely visible. Of course, the fact that they're infertile signifies that we're unable to produce bananas by planting seeds and reaping the rewards of their offspring. Instead, Banana production requires human cultivation, a process whereby bananas are essentially cloned by planting part of the plant stem. Every banana we eat is a genetic clone of all other mass-produced bananas. What we eat is a far cry from natural wild seed bananas. Did any of these truths leave a bad taste in your mouth? If you know of any other food lies, let us know in the comments below.